Hello, everyone. I don't know what happened there. I had to go out of StreamYard. Something going on with StreamYard. I am here with you live now on Facebook, looks like. So let's try this again. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay. I don't know. Let's see if you can put in the comment if you are still here with me and can comment um, in the comments. Let me know. I think you can hear me now. I don't know what happened with with that. But anyway, we are here talking about the secret shortcut to achieving your goals in record time. If you are a service-based entrepreneur, if you're an expert, a therapist, a coach, a agency, consultant, anything like that, and you feel like you are spinning your wheels, throwing stuff up on the wall to see what sticks, nothing's working, you're not getting results, you're trying, you have all these pieces to the puzzle, you're trying to figure all this out, um, around your business and you're just not getting um, the results that you're looking for, then you're in the right place. Because today we're going to be talking about the secret shortcuts to achieving your goals in record time. And I am Heather Blaze. If you don't know who I am, I've been helping entrepreneurs set up their um, businesses uh, to success since 1996. So over 20 plus years, I have seen it all. Um, and anyway, we're to, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, what I have for you today, it's such an important topic, such an important topic because this can save you tons of time, tons of money, um, by knowing this. Okay. So let's talk about, first of all, the value of seeking guidance and mentorship when starting a business. Why? Because it's, such a temptation for entrepreneurs to be self-motivated, right? Especially if you're a service-based entrepreneur. There's there's this mentality that I can solve other people's problems. I'm smart. I'm resourceful. I'll figure it out. I mean, I know because I've been there, okay? But this mindset can be problematic. Oh, awesome. Awesome. You can hear me. Great. Um, because, you know, if you take it too far anyway, it can be problematic, okay? So it can cost you actually thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars or take you months or actually years of um, time um, more than necessary to reach your goals, okay? So too much of something can turn into either a strength or a weakness, right? Resourcefulness is great. It's one of the qualities that I look for in my clients, actually. When I get on a call with them, with people, with prospects, that's one of the things I'm looking for, I'm, I'm listening for, I'm asking, you know, um, if, you know, if I feel like, okay, if it's a good fit for us to work together, I'll start talking about certain um, qualities that I look for in clients before I'll take anybody on. And resourcefulness is one of them, actually, because I think it's a great quality. But again, too much can turn into stubbornness that prevents entrepreneurs from seeking help, which can cost a lot of time and a lot of money. And, you know, if you're starting a business and you've only got a certain budget to start that business, that budget can dwindle down pretty quickly if you're not getting those clients in fast enough in order to supplement, in order to pay for the things that are necessary when scaling a business or even like keeping a business going, right? Like it, it costs money to keep a business going, keep a successful business going anyway. If it's just a side hustle and you're just whatever, I mean, anyway, you're not going to do it for, for nothing, right? Um, yes, of course, you want to make an impact. Most service-based entrepreneurs want to make an impact with people. That's the main reason why they get into service versus, you know, just sell whatever widget on Amazon or whatever, right? Um, you want to impact people, but um, you know, you got to make money. You got to make money to keep it going, right? So that you can help more people. So like if you take your confidence too far too, for example, just like, you know, the resourcefulness, if you take your confidence too far, it might make you arrogant. It's great to be confident. Of course you want to be confident, but too much confidence can lead to arrogance, which is not a good thing, right? Or when you're too detail oriented or that you, you micromanage people, right? Or like maybe when you're a parent, even you act like a helicopter hovering around your kid all the time, it can feel stifling, right? Or if you're too detail oriented, and you're just like a perfectionist, again, it's like these things too much of it, it's good to be detail oriented. 
Um, but if you're too much of a perfectionist, then that's also going to hinder you because you're never going to be able to move forward um, and get closer to your goal. Anyway, there's lots of examples there, right? So what I want to emphasize today is just because you can figure something out from scratch doesn't mean that you should, okay? If you dream of being a big success in your industry, trying to figure things out on your own will be a big, big mistake, okay? Big mistake. Who is that? Julia Roberts. Big mistake, big mistake, okay? <laughs> so there's a lot you need to figure out when it comes to a successful business. Like, um, you know, what's your offer, for example? Like, how much are you going to charge? That's a, I, I always break these into pieces, right? There's so many pieces to the business. Your offer is one piece. Your, how much are you going to charge um, for it is another piece. And how much are you going to charge for it that people would actually pay, right? And what you might think they would pay might be something different than what they think they would pay, right? Depending on how you communicate the value around what you're offering. Because if you communicate it one way, it might not seem like such a good um, idea. And so, you know, they they're, won't pay very much for it. But if you communicate it effectively, um, the value of it effectively, and there's enough value in it, you could charge a premium for it, right? Those are, that's another piece. Um, who your target audience is is another piece. The exact messaging, again, like how do you communicate the value so that it resonates with those ideal clients that are ready to buy, right? That's another piece. Um, how you'll go about marketing it, right? Like are you going to be have like an automated system so that people can find you, call you, and pay you? Or are you going to go out network marketing to networking events in, in person and spend two hours or spend like, you know, half an hour driving there, half an hour driving back and, and the two, you know, an hour or two at the event, you know, is that one strategy you're going to use or are you going to do cold calling? That's another strategy or are you going to do challenges where you have like this stop, go, stop, go, you know, type of thing, type of thing. And you're like putting together all these challenges and then some people come and maybe they buy, maybe they don't, right? There's, there's all these different things or like the strategy I teach where it's like very automated, um, where people, you know, they see a post, the message resonates really deeply um, with what you have to offer. Uh, and then they click on it. They give you your valuable, their valuable information so that you could contact them. Probably won't contact them. You might. Um, but then, you know, you have something else that's automated that leads them to booking a call with you. So, or coming straight into your store if you've got a brick and mortar type thing, right? So it's an automated system to get the right people finding you, calling you and paying you. Some people like that method. Some people like to do it the other way, right? Um, so it depends what you like, right? But, you know, then there's the delivering your actual content piece once they, once they do sign on with you or once they, once you do make that sale, and there's that other piece, like how do you talk to them in order once they do show up, right? Like in order to enroll them into the sale, um, all those different pieces, right? There's just so many different pieces, and that you know people have to find, figure out either on their own or with someone that's already done it, someone that already has a proven system, and that's just for starters. Those are just for starters. Some of those pieces, and each of those pieces need to be figured out and put together in a specific order, or it doesn't work. And I'll get to that in a little bit. But there's just so many little pieces to taking your business um, from, you know, just starting to to um, it being successful, right? And they all have to go hand in hand. And when you're new, right, when you've never had a business before too, especially in our society, and I talk about this a lot, we are taught to be workers, right? So what happens is a lot of people, because we're taught to be workers, like our television, our school system, our friends, our family, our parents, everybody has been brought up in this same school system that teaches us how to be a worker, right? Go to school, get good grades, get a good job, work, 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 do, do, do. What tends to happen is when people go and start a business, they create a job for themselves because they've never been shown that before, right? Our society doesn't teach us how to have a business and how to put all these pieces together. So, um, and then if you're doing it online too, right? There's even more little pieces to taking your business online than just a regular business. So if you pride yourself as a resourceful person who can do it all, then it just may take you years before you can scale your business. I had a call today with someone He's a motorcycle, um, uh, not a motorcycle stunt driver, a um, motor, what do you call those people? A bike, uh, ah, what do you call it? Mountain bike, mountain bike guy, right? And he's super intelligent, uber intelligent. He's got all these pieces and he's been doing like 
Udemy or whatever you call it, and he's getting all these like little pieces from all over the place, and it's not working, right? And he's been at it for like five, six months, but he's like, he's so smart, right, and resourceful that he really believes he can do it on his own. He, it's not working out, so he reached out to me, but he still wants to give it another six months before he um, he signs on or whatever. So I'm like, okay, whatever works for you, you know? Um, but anyway, he prides himself as a resourceful person who can do it all. And again, I, I know what I know. He doesn't know what he doesn't know, which, which is fine. But it's just, I know six months from now, he's going to be like, okay, like, where do we sign up? Because it's not going to work, right? Like, he's just got all these pieces that don't fit together. Um, if it does, awesome. I'd be happy for him, but I just don't see it happening. Um, but anyway, for like online business, right? Like you find basically three levels of services, okay? When it comes to mentoring, when it comes to coaching, um, to, to, you know, put this stuff together, right? Or for anything, really. So you've got the DIY, right? Which is like, I'll show you how, I'll show you how to do it. Like I'll give you a bunch of information and show you how to do it. There's the DWI, which is do it with you, right? Show you how to do it, kind of teach you how to fish. So then you know how to do it for yourself. So then you could delegate to someone. And then there's the DFY, right? Done it, do it for you, okay? And about 90% of what you see out there is show you how to do it. It's that DIY thing. Um, but people don't think of it as DIY. They're like, oh, I'm going to sign up for this course and they're going to show me how to do it, right? But it's really like a general one-size-fits-all type of thing where they just kind of throw you in a, you know, thing. It's not systemized. It's not customized. It's not specifically tailored to who you are, what you do, who you want to serve, all that kind of stuff. It's just kind of like, here you go, follow the, follow, you know, on Udemy type of thing. It's a blanket, it's a blanket thing. It's a, it's a DIY, right? Um, and then you got to try and fit all the pieces together. So they just give out a bunch of instructions and they're done, right? And this is tempting because it's almost always the cheapest, okay? But you also just get what you pay for, right? You just get bits and pieces typically. You don't get any like A to Z type of thing. And you don't get anything that's really systemized or really customized and specific and tailored to who you are, what you want to do, what you want to create, who you want to serve type of thing, right? But it ends up actually being the most expensive thing because every day, every week, every month that goes by, guess what? You're, you're, you're not set up properly to get the right people finding you, calling you and paying you that money, right? And so each day, each week, each, each month that goes by that you're, that they're not finding you, you're not gaining that money. So what does that mean? You're not, you're, you're losing it, right? So instead of, if your goal is to make five, 10, 20,000 a month, and each month that goes by, you're not making that money because you're not set up properly, right? Then Every month that goes by, that's losing 10 grand. So they think they're saving money by, do, by doing it the DIY, spending 100 bucks here, 100 bucks there, taking five months. But let's use that same guy as an example that I talked to you today. If he would have found me five months ago, got set up in two months, because I work with my clients and typically within eight weeks, eight to 12 weeks, um, they get their first paying client, right? Let's say eight weeks, then that's, He's been at it for five months. I think he's going on six months, but let's just say the three months, his goal was to make 10, 20 K a month. That's 30,000 to $60,000 that he's lost. It doesn't cost that much to hire me, right? So because he doesn't know what he doesn't know and he, and he, he's, he's looking and he's getting, you know, he's getting some stabs in the dark. Like he does, he has figured out some things, which is awesome, but because it doesn't go all together, it just, it just doesn't work, right? So anyway, I'll, I'll give you an analogy at the end of this of, of why that doesn't work. But with done for you, okay, this is the opposite of that, okay? That's the DIY. Here's some pieces, try and fit it all together, right? With the done for you, the trap is, because that was the other thing he said, oh, I could just hire someone that's cheaper than me, right, to just do it for me. And I'm like, well, if anybody's good, they're probably not going to be cheaper than me. Anyway, anybody who's not as good as me, yeah, maybe, good luck, right? But but the trap is here, okay? The trap is that you're not going to know what those people um, who did the work actually did to get 
to like where their work took you, right? Like, let's say they do work out for you. Okay. Let's say you hire somebody to do it for you and they, and you know, miraculously they do understand what to do and they start getting you results. Okay. And then they drop off. You're not going to really know what they did to get those results. And if they disappear, you're back at square one, right? You'll depend on those people if something doesn't work right. Or if you need to change anything in the future, right? That's not going to work either. So this is something that you can't, you, like that you cannot duplicate really, right? And then also what I see happening a lot, and this is the main thing um, people do is like when they hire done for you and they're not getting the results, they're wasting a ton of time and money that way too, right? So let's say, um, let's say you, you don't, you're not getting the results for yourself. You're not getting any clients or you're getting like very few far and in between or whatever. And you're like, I'm going to hire somebody to do my marketing for me because I can't seem to, to make this work. Nobody's responding to my messaging. Um, you know, it's not resonating with people. I post all day, every day and, and crickets, right? So they'll go out and hire somebody. And what happens is they'll, because they don't know what to delegate or follow up on, um, they're not going to get the, they, like, they might hire the wrong person, right? Or, or, I mean, they might get lucky and do it, but then if that person disappears, they're going to be back at square one, and then they're going to be scrambling, trying to get those, you know, hire somebody else to get those results, and hopefully those people work out, right? So if you don't know how to get the results first, you're just not going to know what to delegate or follow up on so that you can keep getting those results for yourself, right? Um, you don't you don't know what they're doing. You don't know if what they're doing is going to work or not because you haven't done it yourself, right? And I actually experienced this firsthand, okay? Thank God I knew what I was doing because it would have cost me like hundreds of thousands of dollars if I didn't. Um, but, you know, and I get calls from people every week from people who – have thought this was a good idea and it didn't work out, right? So like like I said, if they're any good, if the done for you company is any good, they're usually going to charge a major p premium up front and they won't take on clients unless they are already earning a certain like substantial amount so that they know that they can afford to keep paying them that um, that premium, right? Moving forward. And if they're any good, they're going to have already a ton of clients. So their their time is going to be limited to take on more, right? So they're going to be very premium. And um, anyway, so let me give you an example. Okay. I hired a done for you company once. Um, their upfront cost was $30,000. And what I wanted them to do was take over my ads management and my sales calls because I had hired that out. Um, I'd outsourced that um, with another company and they kept complaining that my um, leads that I was giving them, um, actually I had hired out two separate companies for it before. I hired a marketing company um, that was managing my ads that did great. And then I hired um, another separate company to take the sales calls on for me, okay? And the salespeople were saying, um, oh, the, your marketing guy doesn't know what he's doing. We keep getting these leads that have no money. And the marketing guy is like, no, their sales technique is bad. These people are fine. These leads are fine. But I didn't know because they were all outsourced, right? I didn't have them in-house to know what was really, who was really telling the truth. So I thought, you know, long story long, maybe short, um, I'm going to um, – I'm going to hire one company so they can't complain with each other, right? If they're going to be doing the ads, they can't complain that they're feeding themselves the bad leads, right? thought this was a great idea. And I looked at all their stuff and I talked to um, a couple of their students or whatever who had been students of a different thing. This was like a new thing that they were launching. But I thought, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. I can delegate and I can follow up. Should it shouldn't be a big deal. They seem to, you know, they're saying all the right things. I'll, I'll hire them. So I hired them. And I said, and they said, oh, well, we need, you know, a month to, to do this. And I'm like, well, I already have that. So here you go. You don't need a month. You can look it over in two days. And then they're like, okay, well, we need another like two weeks to do this. And I'm like, no, I have that for you too. Here you go. Um, I'll give you another two days to look over that. Any other questions you let me know. And, you know, I want the ads up in two weeks because that was because I've done it myself. I knew what was reasonable. Right. And I and I mean, they're looking over the stuff that I already had. They didn't really have to recreate anything. They asked me a bazillion questions. I gave them the answers. They came back like they had heard 
nothing. Right. And so they come back and well, in the meantime, actually, I was waiting for them to place ads and they weren't placing them. So I placed a couple of my ads. I got a bunch of clients from it um, in the meantime. And then finally they got around to launching the ads and I was like, what is this? What do you guys like? You didn't hear look at anything I gave you or hear anything I said. Right. And there it was like they were, had, were starting from scratch, like from two years ago. And I'm like, I don't you don't need to do that. Right. Like, I know how to get results. This is how you get the results. And anyway, long story short, I fired them. I couldn't if I would have I think that what they were doing was they were preying on people that didn't know how to get the results for themselves and so that they could prolong it longer because it was 30K up front. And then after it was something like. I can't remember 1200 a month or I can't remember, you know, to service it and all this stuff. Right. Plus a percentage of this and a percentage of that. And I was just like, man, if I didn't fire them, they would have just drained my account. I would probably would have gone, you know, maybe they would have dragged it out if I didn't know, like maybe three months, six months. I don't know. And I would have lost tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars waiting for them to figure it out. Right. So, but because I knew what I was doing, yeah, um, I did, I did, I got the money back. Um, you know, I lost a bit in, you know, time because while they were trying to, you know, while they were going around in circles and stuff like that, but you know, I still, again, I could bring it up in short order within two weeks. I, it was all fine. Right. But my lesson for you there, right. Is that if you do hire a done for you company, again, they're going to want to, if they are any good and even they weren't very good and they were charging that type of a premium, right? Um, the, it could cost a lot of time, a lot of money wasted, and then you're back at score one and you don't know what to do it, how to do it in the first place. Right? So anyway, um, you know, basically just, be careful with that. Like if you don't know what you're doing, there's people, a lot of people out there that are praying on you for that. Okay. Um, and then let's go into the one, the done for you, right? The, or the done with you, done with you, right? D W Y. This is what I do. Okay. So of course it's the best now, <laughs> but this is the sweet spot really, you know, this is who I choose typically. Um, you know, after that experience, I usually keep things in house. Um, and I hire coaches and mentors that do it with me, right. For exactly what I'm looking for. Right. So, um, you'll understand, right, the process yourself and you'll build a skill set for yourself that will be crucial to the future of your business, right? They're like, they're hard to find, okay? But those who offer a done with you type of service are, are the people who can actually get you the results, right? And also make sure that it's specifically tailored, customi customized and specific to who you are, what you do, and who you want to serve, and your overall arching vision of what you um, want to build, right? Because everybody's a little bit different that way. Um, and they walk you through, right, step by step through the process of building an amazing business from A to Z. And these are the programs that you ought to be looking for if you want to avoid the horrendous cost of figuring things out on your own, okay, or getting it done for you without knowing how to get it get it on your own. Okay. There's so many pitfalls. Um, so if you learn, you know, alongside someone who's been there and done that all before, right. And, and does it with others over and over again, it'll make your life so much easier, right? Like don't be so stubborn that you refuse to get proper coaching or mentoring. So, so important, right? Everything's done, be been done before pretty much, right? You don't have to go and reinvent the wheel, um, make that investment, right? Learn all that you can with someone who is an expert in your field of interest, just like going through school, right? It takes years and years and a lot of um, studying, like much effort, right? But also keep in mind that someone who's built one successful business for themselves in a particular field may not also be an expert at teaching others how to set up their business in that same particular field. So for example, I see a lot of like fitness coaches hiring other fitness coaches to teach them marketing and business systems, right? Those are two separate things. If you want um, knowledge, wisdom, expertise about being a fitness coach, then you would hire 
a fitness coach to teach you that, right? If you want um, someone to teach you how to get clients, finding you, calling you, and paying you, then you need to find a coach or mentor that is going to teach you that, right? And if you want that, like what I teach, right? I teach that. I teach how to leverage your time and money, right? So that you can have, no, i show you how to, yeah, right? Set up the system so that you can have time and money freedom to do what you love to do, right? So there's a lot that goes into that. I'm not a fitness coach. I'm not going to be able to tell you anything about being a fitness coach and, and how to delegate that part. You'd have to be an expert in that already, right? If you're an expert in whatever service you're offering, right? If you've been doing something for a long time and you know how the ins and outs work and, and you've gotten results for yourself or you've gotten results for others, then you just need people to find you, call you and pay you for it, right? You need someone to show you how to bundle your, your knowledge, your wisdom, your expertise into a valuable offer. You need someone to show you how to communicate the value around it so that you can charge a premium for it. You need somebody that can help set up those automated systems to get those um, right people that are a good fit for what you offer to find you, call you, and pay you that premium and how to communicate the value around it so that they think it's a bargain to pay you that premium price too, right? So again, a lot that goes into that, but you don't always need someone who's in the same field that you're in, right? Like you don't need a therapist showing you how to um, set up your business systems. You don't need a fitness coach showing you how to set up your bus business systems. You know what I mean? They're, they're kind of separate. So go with someone who's an expert in marketing and business strategy and systems that has worked with several types of businesses um, and has the best strategy that aligns with how you want to get clients, right? If you want to do challenges and um what other things i always go to challenges but what other thing oh the lower ticket thing that that brings people into higher ticket things like if you like that strategy go to that if you like posting and doing tiktoks and lives all day and and scouring through linkedin and stuff like that that's not, i'm not your girl for that right like i hate that kind of stuff i like the simple like set it set it up set it and forget it right it's like a lot that goes into it in the beginning but once it's set up you just, it's autopilot. So you don't have to get, you know, you don't have to do all that kind of time consuming stuff. That's my, my favorite. And that's what I teach. Um, so if that aligns with you, then I'm your girl. But if those other things align with you, then, you know, find someone who's really good at, at doing those things. Right. But so be resourceful in choosing the right mentor, not resourceful in trusting, um, you know, and trying to figure out how to fit the, all these puzzle pieces together, um, you know, that someone else has already tried to, that someone else has already figured out, right? Again, going back to reinventing that wheel. So be resourceful in how you can pay someone as quickly as possible, um, to show you the way to start scaling as quickly as possible. Does that make sense? So resourcefulness in no way replaces coaching. Resourcefulness is great, but if it turns into that toxic stubbornness that you refuse to get help that is available, it becomes a bad element in your business, okay? So just understand something. If you're, if you're doing something new, okay, starting a business from scratch, starting a new language, right? Um, starting a new uh, exercise regime, I don't know, having a new baby, right? Um, challenges are inevitable, right? But when you have a coach, right? Even like, let's go to the sleep baby thing, right? Or the baby thing, like a sleep coach, right? If, you, if you're a new mom, like get a coach for that, right? Where if, to help you navigate, right? These things, um, save your sanity. Uh, anyway, because when you have this coach, when you have a community that you can tap into that's supporting you and that you can reach out to and all that stuff, then they can show you how to navigate through each challenge and, and show you the viable options so that you don't have to waste your limited time, your valuable time, and waste your money trying to solve these problems that have already been solved. Does that make sense? So also don't fall into that trap of doing what most entrepreneurs are doing, and that's thinking to succeed, let me copy this or let me copy that, right? Copying what they're doing without the know-how behind it most likely won't turn out, okay? Again, um, it's it's got to be specific. It's got to be tailored. It's got to be customized to who you are, what you do. Nobody has the same knowledge, wisdom, expertise, experiences that you have. So you are your own individual, you know, magic um, behind what you do. So copying what other people do just doesn't work, 
right? And again, there's just so many pieces to the puzzle, right? I'm going to give the analogy now that I said I was going to give at the end. So a successful business is like building a house, okay? What does anyone need to follow when they build a house? A lot of people say foundation, but it's not foundation. What do they need to follow when building a house? What does anyone need to follow when building a house? You can put it in the comments here if you want. It's the blueprint, okay? The blueprint. What happens if somebody builds a house without a blueprint? Doesn't turn out, right? It doesn't feel safe, you know? But everybody does have an idea of how a house is built. Everybody knows, like, it needs a foundation, right? Everybody knows it needs walls. So if you need walls, everybody knows you need to build a frame, right? If you need a frame, what do you need to build a frame? You need wood or whatever, right? You need tools. Everybody knows that. Right? Everybody knows a house has a roof. Everybody knows it needs that and, and all these other things, right? So technically, you could go in your backyard right now and build a house. Go to Home Depot, finish watching this live, go to Home Depot, grab all the pieces, right? All the supplies that we just that everybody knows you need, right? To build that house and put it in your backyard and go move in with your kids and with your husband or your your wife, right? How safe would you feel? Not very safe because you didn't use a blueprint. So it's the same thing with building a business, okay? There's a lot of pieces to it, just like building that house. But also, just like any house, right? Every house has that same framework, right? But also every house is very different. It's got different layouts. It's got different designs, different fixtures, different colors, different things to it, right? So... That's like every business too, right? You're different. Your knowledge, your wisdom, your expertise, your experiences are different than anybody else. Who you want to work with is probably very different than who I would want to work with or some of my other clients would want to work with. But those two things have to go hand in hand, just like all those colors and fixtures and layouts have to go around that frame. They have to fit perfectly or it's not going to work. And also your overall arching vision of what you want your business to look like and be like is very different than mine or anybody else's too. But again, those three things, your knowledge, your wisdom, your expertise, one, your who you ideally want to service, right? Who's your ideal client is number two. And um, your overall arching vision, three, those three, three things have to go together like perfectly, right? And fit perfectly around that framework that every business is built around to get the right people finding them, calling them, and paying them that's been around forever since the beginning of business, right? There's a framework to it that works and it all has to be done in the right order according to a blueprint, right? A plan. Otherwise, guess what? It just doesn't work, right? Just like the house, it won't work. So that's what I teach my clients. We take all their knowledge, all their wisdom, all their expertise, who they want to target, their overall reaching, um, you know, vision of what they want to create. And we build it around that framework in the right order so that nothing gets missed. Everything works perfectly. So at the end of eight weeks, they have a beautiful, solid foundation to scale from. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully this helps you save a ton of time and a ton of money. Um, you know, so just to recap, okay, do not do things on your own, okay? Make sure you find the right person who can show you, you know, what to do and what not to do. Take advantage of the shortcut. Um, if, you know, if that person is, if what that person is teaching is the same as everyone else, um, that conventional wisdom is not what you need, okay? Find those who are doing something unique that's very specific, very specific, very tailored, very customized to who you are, what you want to create. Go with the done with you model, okay? Um, and if this is what you want, then I want to invite you to hop on a call with me or one of my team members to put together your game plan, okay? A game plan to get you to where you want to go. Because again, everybody's is different, right? So we'll look at, um, like we'll look into what you've got going on already in your business to identify what's working, what's not working, so that you can drop those things that aren't working and just focus on all your resources that are working, right? Um, 
focus on the resources on, you know, what's going to get you your ideal clients, finding you, calling you, and paying you, okay? And I'm doing this for free so that you don't waste any more time trying to figure these things out on your own, okay? It kills me. It really does. It kills me to see people out there spinning their wheels, throwing stuff up on the wall to see what sticks, trying, trying, trying while their savings is dwindling down, right? And thinking, I can figure it out, I can figure it out, I'm smart, and yeah, you are smart. But the thing is, is it's up here in your blind spot. So you don't know what you don't know, and it's impossible to see until someone shows you um, the right, you know, that strategy, right? So anyway, go ahead and type in shortcut in the comments, and I or someone from my team will send you a DM so that you can book that call with me. Again, it's a free 45-minute call. We'll see what's working, what's not working. If it's a good fit, we can talk about how to work together. And if not, then I can point you in the direction of someone I might know that can help you at least get to the next level. All right, so that's all for today. I hope that's been super helpful. Again, I'm here every Thursday. Sorry about the technical difficulties um, earlier. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, but hopefully we'll have that sorted for next week. And um, glad you can make it, Peggy. Good to see you as always. Um, if you're here with me live, you can put hashtag live. And if you're here with me um, watching the replay, you can put hashtag replay. But again, type in shortcuts in the comments below. And I will see you next Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Take care, everyone.